Merci beaucoup, monsieur le professeur. Mes frères et sœurs en Jésus-Christ, euh, il me fait grand plaisir de vous offrir quelques mots de mon cœur. I build Peter, Dor Peter and Dora School since they were a spry 68 years old. <laughs> And you think, okay, so that's two or three years ago, right? We met in 1989. It is a biblical principle that God blesses with many years, a long and bountiful life, those who faithfully live by his commandments. Much is made of the faith of Peter and Dora School in knowledge, in the human pursuit of truth. But we would do well to remember that Dr. Peter and Dr. Dora School are people of profound Christian faith. It is this that has given them the vision to be able to see beyond narrow boundaries and to invest in your life and mine through their support of education and research at the highest level. When I met Peter and Doris School, Doris could often be found outside St. Josephat's Cathedral in Edmonton on her knees doing the gardening or perhaps sewing, laundering, ironing, altar cloths for St. Josephat's Cathedral. Peter would often be spending long hours at community organizations, volunteering his time and his financial acumen to organizations that serve people. He would serve several Ukrainian Catholic bishops of Edmonton as their close personal financial advisor and serve on many church financial committees. And we all know how wonderfully exciting those endless meetings are. <laughs> their life has always been a life of self-offering. They live comfortably, but never exorbitantly. Their frugality, their faith in the fact that God would provide for them what they need for their life enabled them to amass the fortune that you and I need for our life, for our scholarly work, for our educational endeavors. There's an old fundraising story that is often passed around about a bunch of farm animals that were grateful to the wonderful farmer who took care of them. And they decided to hold a big breakfast for the old man. And the chickens decided to offer some eggs the cows offered milk and cheese. And then the committee came to the pigs. <laughs> and the pigs balked at the proposal and said, everybody else is making a contribution from us. You want a commitment. 
<laughs> Peter and Dora School, long ago, made a commitment to the bettering of the human race through deep and sustained study, which will go far beyond our lives. For that is the nature of academic endowments to last not for years or even decades, but hopefully for centuries. When we think of all of their endowments across this country and what they will do over just the next 100 years, what an astounding impact their generosity will have. They could have spent their money on luxury, but they thought that for the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian church, education has been a luxury for a persecuted people. And that is the luxury that they bought for themselves and their brothers and sisters, and the generations that will bow their heads before them, together with us today, in gratitude. I want to read a few words from Dale Schrick, the former rector of St. Paul University, who is, has a very fond place in his heart for Peter and Doris Poole. Please give Peter and Doris my best wishes. I wish I could be present at this wonderful event, but I'm on sabbatical leave in Illinois and heading off in a few minutes to California, and will only return to Ottawa in August of 2010. Again, grateful, grateful, best wishes to Peter and Doris. Very sorry I cannot be with you all. All the best, your friend Dale. And just so that we see that it's not only the scholars who appreciate, but it's also the students who appreciate what Peter and Doris have done. Here's a note from one of our alumni at the Shatitsky Institute, a uh, subdeacon of the uh, Antiochian Orthodox Church who studied at the Metropolitan de Shatitsky Institute of Eastern Christian Studies at St. Paul University. <coughs> I pray that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will bless and grant many years to our Christ-loving patrons Peter and Doris Cool, they are truly worthy of this honor. Only God is able to fully see how fruitful their support has been to those who have studied at the Metropolitan and Shatitsky Institute of Eastern Christian Studies. There are many students who pray for you, Peter and Doris and they love you. Because over the years, as has been mentioned before, you have been donors that not only signed a check, but you've committed yourself to us. 